Guys, Cha Cha is the worst dog that I have. Don't do anything you see in this video. We're gonna try our best to get her to slow down and calm down. Couple things that we're dealing with problematically. We've got Cha Cha who will not bring the ball back. We've got Cha Cha who doesn't want to out at times. We've got Cha Cha who wants to chew your finger off when uh, it's time to give her a treat. We've got Cha Cha who's super motivated but lacks direction. And guess whose fault it is? It's all mine. That's the truth. It's nobody's fault but my own. Um, I've got a team of people around me right now and they've done a good job. There's nobody who knows my dogs better than me and at the end of the day, my dogs are my dogs. That's the truth. Challenge is, is I don't have a lot of time for the dogs the way I had time for Ego. Like Ego, my buddy asked me to whelp his litter of Frenchies. I said, I'll come, but Ego's gotta come too. <laughs> Literally, he got to come too, baby. So he said, that's fine. <laughs> and I helped whelp my buddy uh, Rich's um, pups at the time and that was the time in itself Woo, we'll talk about that another time so today Stan's gonna give us an assessment and even more importantly he's gonna see if he can work through some of Cha Cha's challenges be it she is highly motivated doesn't understand the importance of no slow down um, out we're gonna go from potentially putting on the leash because she doesn't like correction to seeing if he can slow down her chomping them her front two teeth and that chop they get she does that thing it's, it's not good it's not good and mind you as I said, there are people around who assist in walking cha-cha, exercising cha-cha, and that's everybody. Um, and, and, and there are times where I just can't, I just can't do it. I can't do it. And I want to make sure that they're safe. Uh, and I don't think she's going to hurt them. That's not the concern. But like, yo, I couldn't get the ball out of her mouth. I couldn't get the rope out of her mouth. Hey, she didn't want to come back. It's too many issues. So stand. Yeah. <laughs> so how you hold the treat helps. So a lot of people want to hold treat. the treat like this, where you're going to get your fingers snapped. <laughs> so put it in the palm. Look at this dog. And there you She's go. A lunatic. And then you make her slow down to get the treat. So again, we're here, I'm there, and then I'm not getting my hands bit. It's very easy. And if the dog is chewing too much, show him the back of your hand and make him wait and turn. I don't know if you can see shadow. So we'll start like this and ease it around. Good. That's step yes, one just to get her to slow down, huh? That's it. So she didn't chew none of your hands off, you got no slobber. Got all my digits. <laughs> but yeah, don't do this because you're afraid to get bit. You're more likely to get bit that way. Stay in there. Good girls. So the next thing, she doesn't bring balls back. Do you have two of them? Ah, no, sir. I, I know I got one in my car. You have one at least? Okay, who we'll pause this and get a ball? Two. As we see people, it's recording, right? <laughs> Cha Cha has no sensibility and she's super motivated. Part of, the, part of that is she's got uh, she's got that dog in her. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing, I'll be honest with you. That dog, <laughs> that dog be stressing you out. Some of y'all calling me because you're stressed now. Dog running through your fence, chewing up your wood, tearing your house up, pissing everywhere, pooping on everything, want to fight other dogs. He said, look, I don't have that kind of, I'm giving me a golden retriever. <laughs> and the golden retriever, just a, this is a loving, kind dog that wants to mind his business and looks like an old homeward bound. Just be a good family person. Hey guys, how's it doing? You guys still fucking shit up? <laughs> you guys have fun now. I'm gonna go back upstairs. He'd be a young, old nigga already. So look, Stan said, get two balls, no strike. And then what do you do? All right, so you're gonna start with tossing one out. And in a perfect world, we're gonna make this ball way more fun. So I'm gonna tell her. Yeah, yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. As soon as she drops it, come on. Okay. And this is where patience comes in. So she dropped it. We're gonna toss the second one. Oh. I seen her drop it. That's a girl. Bring, 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 bring. Good. And then we're gonna wait. As soon as she drops it. Do, 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 do. Getting that slobber and everything. There you go, come on. Hey. Ooh, you gotta drop that one. And this is a patience thing. It's not gonna be quick. I wish it was five minutes and she'd be fixed, but it's a process. Boy, is he chewing there on? There we go. Yes. And as soon as she does it, now the game gets better. So she wants to entertain herself. That's fine. So we're gonna wait. And then in a perfect world, out. Yes. Good. Toss that second one. Ooh. And then you want to get to the point where she outs the first ball. Out. <laughs> hey. 
That one doesn't come until you drop that one. Come on. <laughs> that joker is chewing on that ball bear. And sometimes if you have a squeaker in this situation, it'll help. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. So she drops that first one. And now I'm going to reach down and grab the first one and throw that. Good girl. Bring, bring, bring. Out. Watch out, boy. She is chewy, boy. I haven't seen her play fetch in some time. Go keep her right there. You can hear me. I haven't seen her play fetch in some time, but I tell you, man, she is chewing on that ball, boy. Out. And I love that Stan showing you guys how, how patient you have to be. Because she has to drop the ball. The minute you reward her on a bad, um, like you mark the bad behavior point blank. And you turn around and you have, you've doubled down on the problem. Now she thinks, I can get whatever I want, whenever I want. And then, this is where control comes in as well. Because if she drops it, and we get her to do it a couple good times, then you have to put her up and come back out and do it again. And you say, oh, you know what? I got to do it five times. That time frame took me about 10 minutes. But what happens uh, if we can get it down to five minutes? We can get it down to one minute. We can get her down to the point where she's bringing the ball back every time and not giving you any trouble. Now, Chacha early on as a pup, she already showed, keep it there, they can hear me. She already showed possession problems. What that means is, if she turned around and she would get something, run to a corner, and, and literally, I'd have to go and get the ball or something from her. Now Stan again is trying to teach yes. her. Good. Teach her the points of patience. So she got the ball. Good, 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 good. And she likes this good. one a lot more because she gets more satisfaction out of chewing on it. So what we're gonna oh, do Oh yeah, look at that. Is we're gonna make her keep chasing this one. Good girl. Bring, 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 right, bring. Try to get on that frisbee a little bit. Out. Spoke too soon. No, no, no. She there dropped. Go. Good. good. That time's getting short. Hey. Yes. Boom. Let's <laughs> place one in woods. We had to place one in woods. Y'all can't see. see we had to place one in woods already. Out. But that's the ball that. Oh, there we go. Good. See, once you find the trick too, that's the trick too. Get the ball that don't make her make no noise. And then you stop while you're ahead. Yeah, cause we ain't ahead right now. She still will bite your hand and she'll turn around and <laughs> chew that ball up for about 35, 45 minutes. Now, Chacha is a dog who I understand the art of communication, especially with the pet, El Pedro and dog. It's just the same thing to be clear. But I haven't had a lot of time to spend time with her. Even, even myself, I go, man, I'm gonna let Chacha upstairs and get this. I come downstairs this morning. I come downstairs this morning and she's the only dog out. She didn't shit on the floor. The trash is ruined. She didn't drink four bottles of fucking champagne. <laughs> it's, it's wine on the floor. And, and, and she's in there like this. In there like this here. Uh, hey, how you doing? And mind you, typical person is, I'm about to beat this dog's ass. We didn't do anything. Let the dog out, clean and sweep the thing up, put all the stuff in the trash, put her in the real cell that she can't break out of, because for whatever reason, she didn't got super motivated when it comes to getting out that cage. Well, she does not like that cage. Uh, and shout out to our guy, Ray, who owns one of our dogs. He said, uh, Trevor, I love this dog. But, but man, that dog hates cages. He's motivated, he's this, he's that. And the irony is, he's got dogs, he says, that are two years old, but the one he's got from us, who ain't even a year old, it's the only dog that can be off leash. He's like, we go to the bar, look at that. I got the two girls on a leash, you send me the video. The other one, he ain't running nowhere. That's a good problem to have. Challenge is, Ego, Ego's like, he's an old joker. He's already, he's like two years old, and you see him, I'm gonna do a video. In the morning time, he gonna come outside with the dog, use the bathroom. When he goes back in, he do like this. Everybody goes to the garage, he be like, oh, I'm upstairs I go, buddy. He right upstairs, as soon as he's like, doo, doo, doo. and same thing at night, get this. At the five o'clock, if I, if I bring him out here about seven, he don't go back upstairs. He like, nah, nah, it's time to eat now, so go ahead, open up the garage. You be like, Eagle, upstairs, he be like this. Nah, 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 I'm supposed to be in this, this the way, this the way to the food, nigga. <laughs> Cha-Cha needs a lot more attention, people. She's one of the dogs who will definitely be with us. We're gonna move hair around a little bit. I've gotta get me a gun dog, German short hair pointer here eventually. Um, so we gotta make some shifts, but she's one that I have to work with because she's a part of uh, the bigger picture and people really, I mean, shout out to all you guys who really love her. And I mean, she's a good dog. She literally just needs more attention. But I tell you, every time it's like a parent, you're like, I'm gonna do something more for Cha-Cha. You come down and Cha-Cha just Cha-Cha all over the garage. <laughs> Cha-Cha, you got the mop now, you got the, it was hell. 
And I told people, I literally posted a video yesterday of how bad it is being a pet owner. And then she basically recreated the moment the next morning. I said, ain't even 24 good hours. This bitch, then I'm talking about turn a bag inside out. She didn't have lasagna. <laughs> I don't know what all she ate nigga. She didn't eat pie. She didn't have everything. So, guys, stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Be patient. I know when people ask about discipline, you be thinking it means elbowing, and it's just not the answer. Are there times and moments for correction? Yeah, that's why Stella has a leash around his neck. But even more importantly, it's time for understanding. And I, too, wish when I was younger, someone spent less time hitting me in my mouth, uh, me and my father, than and communicated. I think as I got older, he became a better communicator because he too had fought all his life, literally. And he just got to the point, he said, man, look, you're getting too big for me to be, <laughs> you know, it's just, we looking each other in the eye now. Nobody got that kind of time and energy. So stay tuned, take care of your dogs. We remember, slow down, pace yourself, Stan, you want to finish with anything? Yeah, so like he was saying, with these kind of dogs, they were designed to keep going when they feel pain. So if I'm trying to force her, choke her out, it's just gonna cause her to go harder. Motivate. These dogs are motivated to keep going when they feel pain. So you gotta find a better way. So be patient. Just take your time and take care of your dog. Boom. Until next time, people.